so I am the villain because I've made myself one. Yesterday, almost everyone on the internet was slapped by a former 500 pound YouTuber. The former is a 500 pound. He is still a YouTuber and it wasn't the type of slap where Mr. Avocado comes and slaps you. Shut up, bitch. You thought I couldn't do it. Look at me now. I am always two steps ahead of you. The smack was nothing like that, even though most people and Nick thought it was. It was more like a you you're not dreaming about mr nick mr avocado in your dream and making a youtube video that he lost 250 pounds this is real shut up and two days ago i made a video to update you all with the avocados situation which was pretty sad I hate my finances i hate my husband i hate my family i hate my friends i hate my work I hate a video that he posted four months ago titling bye we went through it like the main posts and we talked about it he was saying how much he hates his life all the way from his husband to his career and it was really sad we just talked about it but little do we know I, I tried to even give him a little bit of you know you did this before you can do it again Nick I want to tell you that you had the courage to go from the vegan YouTube lifestyler to this type of niche so you do have the courage to change it up again and I believe if you change your niche your viewership and community are going to triple because it is going to be a motivational it is going to be an inspiring thing for you to do and i was really like rooting for them but then after we went through his videos in the you know the recent four months ever since he posted that video it was shown that he was still doing the same thing but little did i know and probably you too don't be like i knew it from before that he was doing a two-year transformation that bro was laughing at everyone who was talking about his situation, doing an evil laugh because he's in his villain arc right now. And with the timing that I posted my video literally less than 24 hours, he came in the internet and said to everyone's faces, I am the one who knocks. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the girl greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Now in this video he goes on and he says that it took him two years to get to this transformation and he lost around 250 pounds and every video on his five six channels that he posted it was pre-recorded before and this was his master plan have everyone think that he's fallen off he's going crazy he's gonna die of a heart attack and diabetes his audience watching him get a one-way ticket to heart attack were just waiting to see and then he came back and shut up 250 pounds less a lot of people who were hating on him and waiting for him to get that heart attack we were very disappointed but the two videos that he posted just yesterday blew the fuck up and it is nothing but support in his channel literally 177,000 comments so far this is just so far and everyone is just full on supporting this man and what kind of inspiration he is and that is the thing we talked about yesterday yeah two days ago in my video as well where if he changes his life and he turns it all around there's gonna be a humongous amount of respect for him and thankfully he realized that before anything bad happened to him two years ago that is a time where he decided to actually make a change now i don't know what was his workout routine but i would really hope that he shares it with everyone because i've been trying to get rid of this fat belly for the past year and it is impossible how the fuck did he lose 250 pounds i keep telling myself that the ladies love the dad but a little bit of meat not abs abs is too hard to cuddle on most of us tell this to ourselves to make ourselves feel better but i would really like to get rid of that i don't know what he was he probably just worked out a lot because in two years a lot of things can happen i don't know if he did a surgery to did he take a zempic did he take drugs w w what was the whole process behind this i would really like to know about this whole thing hopefully he will share it 
And what does this mean for the coming future? We also talked about it two days ago. If he decides to switch up his life, he should continue doing his violin because he's really good. He should do the process of him losing weight. He can do lifestyle traveling. And another thing he can continue doing is eating food, but also maintaining his level hopefully he will do those things but right now mainly on his second video that he posted titling hi he said that he will be you know continue to eating food which is something he loves all those cries when he was biting the pizza we covered in that video all fake i don't believe shit anymore from nick he still loves junk food he's continued to eat junk food but he's also going to take care of his body and i think that is how it's supposed to be go for everyone you eat a double cheeseburger morning jogging going to the bathroom after eating that burger and shitting it out does not mean you lost the calories it is not out of your body you need to work out everything is about balance eat whatever you want and train he also did a movie intro the first three minutes into the video after a year for as long as i tell the internet that i am the villain stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants influence the ants brainwash the ants you are the ants today i woke up from a very long dream and i also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead everyone the joke's on you now i don't know if this villain act is because he hasn't eaten any junk food for the past two years because he's been cutting that not enough uh, fried food has touched his brain and he's going a little bit coco mode but he went off at his haters and he started saying oh you can all be manipulated i am the one who knocks i am the danger 100 percent in this two years of not being able to rub it in anyone's face that you know he's been losing weight in the past two years he has the card passed to be cocky and shit on all the haters who were you know just preying on his downfall me amongst millions of other people have gained a lot of respect for nick he's a very genius guy for sure 100 even all these acts he's been doing in front of the camera eating all that fried food it is content end of the day and he knows how to get clicks for it by overreacting and doing shit that no one normally does that is how you get views on the internet and overall i'm very happy for him in this situation his level of self-control is absolutely respectable and i wish him nothing but good health and good content on youtube i look forward to what he's going to post next i don't know what the fuck is this, his whole villain arc everyone's been talking about at the beginning of the video he got the pass to becoming the main villain character putting his head down it was a little bit cringe but he had the pass 100 percent. he deserves to do whatever the hell he wants. Even if he started farting in front of the camera, people would have been, holy shit. That he farted 250 pounds out. He would have still gotten the same level of respect. He seems like he went back to being himself eight, nine years ago before, you know, turning into a big cow. And he seems like he's not going to, he's just going to be eating food and talking to people, to, to his audience. I don't know if there's a villain arc involved in this. Maybe he will start chopping animal off in front of the camera, cook them or eat them raw, whatever the fuck villains do nowadays in movies. But overall, very happy for him and I look forward to what is next for Mr. Nicavado Avocado. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe, you know the rest. Thank you for yourself. I will see you at the next one.